survey. Today we are going to show you how to set up a total station over a control point. So unlike in uh, Qdelight, most of the time we are going to set up the total station over control points. So this is one of the control points you see here. So they have preserved it uh, by putting concrete around the steel bar which has a cross at the top of its uh, surface. If you carefully see, you can see the cross there. So this control point has the code of 9010. So this is 9010 control point that we are going to use today. And we are going to set up the total station above this control point. Most of the time we are using wooden tripods for total stations. The reason is the total station is a kind of a sensitive uh, equipment. The wood is kind of a material which has low thermal expansion coefficient. Therefore, due to uh, the heat of the environment, the legs will not extend during the practical when it compared to the uh, legs made out of aluminium um, and steel. Okay, so now we are taking it. Here. And first, similar to what we did in theodolite centering and leveling, we need to ex uh, just extend one leg by uh, loosening one of the butterfly screw. Right, so this is called the clamping screw or butterfly screw. And we need to adjust it to the lower chest level like this and tie it back and then we need to extend other two legs as well. And then tie up the screws properly. Then similarly what we did in uh, light centering and leveling. Here also we have to keep the legs like this. It should have approximately equal distance between these two legs, this two leg and this two leg. And when we look through this of the tripod, we should be able to see the control point of the tripod head. If it is not, we have to move it until it is below this tripod head. Right? Now if you carefully see, you can see the control point through this tripod head. Next thing is we need to ensure that, uh, whether this tripod head is ex approximately horizontal so that we can go back a little bit and see whether it is approximately horizontal. If we have some kind of horizontal structures like window, we, we can see whether the top surface is approximately parallel to one of those horizontal structures you see in the environment. Now I feel it is approximately horizontal. Now the next thing is we need to fix one leg firmly to the ground as we did in the tube light centering and level. So we, you need to give your entire body weight to the tripod shoe until it uh, sinks in, into the ground. So we need to settle the instrument there to the operation. Otherwise what will happen is while we are doing the field work, the instrument will settle together with the tripod due to its self weight. Therefore, we should settle the instrument first by pushing the tripod legs firmly to the ground. So you have to give your entire body weight to the tripod shoe like this. So now we have fixed only one tripod uh, leg. So now, before we do other operations, we have to fix the total station above the tripod head. So when we open the box of the total station, we can see how it is inside the box. So 
you need to remember how it is inside the box if you feel that it is very uh, difficult to remember it at once so best thing is have a photograph so you take it carefully from the box like this and keep it on the palm and hold it from the handle as well and carefully keep it above the top of the tripod edge. When you are keeping it, don't keep it like this. Corner of the tripod should come to the corner of the tripod head, this corner or either this corner, right? Like this. Don't fix it like this. As I explained in the tutorial light setting up, you need to keep some distance, equal distance from everywhere to the tripod of the total station. So this part is known as the tripod. Right. You have to keep the equal. And then, using this tightening screw or the fixing screw, you can fix the total station properly to the tripod head. Right. Now, we need to switch on the total station to do the centering and leveling of the total station. We have a plate bubble and we have a bullseye bubble as well. But we don't have an optical plummet as you see in the uh, theodolite. light. Therefore, we need to switch on the total station first. So this is known as the battery compartment. So we can take it out. This, this brand is Kolida. ATS 442R6 is a brand. So it, uh, it was calibrated recently, November 14th of 2022. So this is a perfect instrument. So we need to fix the battery first. The battery is inside the box. So we fix the battery. The instrument. And then we switch on. We switch on the instrument. So in after we switch on the instrument, we can see a laser plummet. This is called a laser plummet. If you keep your palm like this, you can see a laser point uh, on your palm. So this laser point is the substitution for the optical plummet. Right? In the older version of the instrument, you had the optical plummet, but in the newer versions, you are having laser plummet instead of optical plummet. So now you can clearly see the laser point on the ground here near my shoe right so it is now at the top of my shoe so I need to bring it to the center of the cross right so now you know that I have already fixed one leg this leg I have fixed only this leg and I haven't fixed these two legs now I'm going to hold these two legs firmly and lift it slightly don't lift like this it is not going to work right so you have to lift it slightly such a way that the tripod are just touching the surface of the ground and you have to move it until the laser point comes to the center of the cross now you see it is at the crossing point right Once you have moved the laser plummet or the laser point to the center, the next thing is you need to fix these two legs as well. Now you have already fixed one leg and you adjusted these two legs and now you need to press these legs down by giving your entire body weight to the tripod shoe. And this one is like this, right? Now you see the laser point moves little bit away from the center once we press these two legs don't try to bring it back to the center by lifting the legs back right so let it be as it is and you do other process right what is the next step you need to bring this bullseye bubble to the center right now this is the bullseye bubble here you need to bring it to the center 
The imaginary line between the center of this black circle and the center of this air bubble is in this direction. So what is the leg that should be adjusted? This is the leg that we should adjust. So I am just keeping my left hand at the top of this extendable part and loosening the butterfly screw and push it down. Now the bubble will come to the center. Right, just one adjustment was enough. Now the bubble is at the center. The next thing is we need to bring the uh, bring the air bubble of the longitudinal bubble to the center. Now uh, it is uh, just similar to the leveling we did for the theodolite. light. We need to keep the longitudinal bubble parallel to these two foot screws and then using left thumb rule. Now you see, come and see the bubble is at the left edge of the instrument. Right, the bubble, this longitudinal bubble is at the left hand side. So we need to take it to the center, so the bubble should move in this direction. So my left thumb should move in the same direction, while the right thumb uh, moves inwards like this. Right, so now I am adjusting the left thumb to the direction where the bubble should go. Now bubble moves to the center, now it has come to the center in one direction. So now the next thing is we need to turn the bubble axis 90 or oh, perpendicular to this two foot screws. This is how it is done. Now the bubble axis is this way. It is 90 or oh, it is perpendicular to the it is perpendicular to these two foot screws. Now we have to adjust it only using this foot screw right so i'm taking the bubble to the center right now it is exactly centered so once you have completed this leveling process we need to check whether the centering is okay now if you carefully see the laser point is out, little bit out from the center. Right, the laser point is little bit out from the center. So therefore, we need to bring it back to the uh, center. So this is how it is done. So you need to first loose this tightening screw and slowly move the drive rack of the total station over the tripod head and bring it to the center right now I tied it up so again I need to check the level of the longitudinal bubbles so now it is a little bit out so I need to bring it back to the center using the left thumb rule right Now I have completed the centering and leveling process of a total station. The thing is, in a total station we have a digital bubble too. So even though we have taken it to the center, we need to check whether our digital bubble is okay. Right? So for that, now we have switched on the total station. Uh, we can go to the menu the function button and see whether any uh, option called tilt and uh, in this version it is uh, there in the keyboard you can see that the bubble is drawn there right so you, you need to press the shift button and bubble here shift and bubble then you will get this tilt center. Accordingly now, we can see the bubble is a little bit out. So even though it is perfect in this arrangement, so uh, in the digital bubble it is not at the exact center. So therefore we need to take it back to the center. So uh, if you want to see this amount which is out 
as numbers you can go to this digit option right digit option by uh, pressing f4 right now you see uh, in the x direction we have uh, the t uh, 10 seconds out right and from in the y direction we have 30 second 34 seconds out so x direction so x direction is the direction this uh, the x direction can be adjusted by this foot screw this one x and y this way so first i'll adjust the x one x i took it uh, near to zero actually it should be less than 10 seconds right it is okay now i am adjusting the y direction and bring it uh, less than 10 seconds right now i adjusted the tilt so if i go to the graph we can see the bubble is exactly at the center. If you carefully see the center of the display, you see the bubble has the digital bubble has come to the center. That's how we uh, do the centering there. Once we have done this centering, we need to check if there are any uh, change to the point, laser point, or it is. Uh, we need to check whether it is out from the center. Now, if you carefully see, uh, it is exactly at the center. And there is small adjustment required, so I can shift it right, and again tie it up. And if I need further adjustments, I can do. But uh, as per the graph, it is perfect, so I don't need any adjustment. Go to digits and see all are less than 10, 10 seconds so that is perfect so now we have done the setting up of total station so this is called the setting up of total station in my next video i will teach you how to orient a total station to obtain the details of surrounding structures thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and click the bell button for more of the very latest videos.